What's going on, you guys? It's your boy T Spill, and I'm here to uh, do uh, a quick, um, well, hopefully it's quick, but a couple of uh, app reviews. I guess we can call these product reviews. As you guys know, that I've been uh, working hard, working very diligently, uh, getting my weight down, all that good jazz. And I wanted to come in here and show you guys some of the uh, apps that I use, and hopefully you guys will use them too. <clears throat> so the first one is um. Like I said, and I, you guys can see that I do have an iPhone, but for the app that I'm about to use, I do have an app that you can also use on Android, so I'm not leaving you guys out. But the first one is the uh, health one that comes with the iPhone. <clears throat> and what it does is it shows you uh, the steps, walking and uh, running distance, um, you know, even how many flights uh, you climbed. And it shows you the progression, you know, per day, um, by the weeks. But this right here is just uh, what I've done today. And um, like I said, it has running and walking distance. I'll talk more about that and how it's converted. But what this does is um, even if you aren't that mobile, like I say, if you guys just want to, you know, start getting into fitness or even back into fitness, if you uh, have something that tracks your steps, a pedometer pr pretty much is uh, what this act as. Um, like I said, this right here tracks my steps and it even converts my steps. As you can see up here at the very top, it converts those steps. And if you go down, it converts them into miles. So, which is, uh, pretty good. <clears throat> and I will show you why this is important because this, like I said, the, these two apps blend into another app, but I'll get to that momentarily. So I'll back out of this. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, and you have a drawer you can download the uh, pacer app which is the bottom right i'll open that up for you guys and now there are many different uh pedometer um apps but i kind of like this one i don't use this because i have what's already built in the iphone but this right here is a fantastic one because there <clears throat> there are other um apps that are pedometers and i've tried them and i like this one best because you don't have to open it up. There are other apps that you actually have to have it open for it to track your steps, which kind of defeats the purpose. You know, like if you just want to walk a few feet, you want that to be tracked, but you don't want to have to open this up every time. So I like this one because you don't necessarily have to, but when you open it up, it will display everything. And as you guys can see, um, pretty much I've walked a total of two hours and uh, 48 minutes. That's a composite. I'm sorry, the steps all together is 24,657 steps. Converted is 10.6 miles. And I've burned uh, that many calories. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually more, but this is in sync with a heart rate monitor. I'll talk more about that in a second. But those are the two apps to track your steps. Now, the next app, <clears throat> which is offset from that, but it all blend in with the very last app. But the next app is the uh, Map My Walk. And that's by Under Armour. They also have map, map My Hike, Map My Run, uh, Map My Fitness. Uh, I think that's just the general one. I do use uh, Map My Walk. And uh, pretty much what this does is, um, excuse me, <laughs> you can track your walks, which is uh, what I do. Let this load. All right. <clears throat> Give me a second, you guys, because what I did is I actually uh, took this off of um, off service. And it's only because, you know, I didn't want people, uh, notifications and whatnot coming through. But I actually do need that to show you guys uh, my stuff. So I do apologize. <clears throat> so you guys can see today that I did 7.78. Yesterday I did 7.8. The day before, 7.72. And pretty much it's the uh, same exact route. And... The way that you pretty much work this is typically when you open this up, it will automatically take you to, um, <clears throat> which one is this? Record a workout. And uh, in the top left, you have uh, coaching. That's um, something you got to pay for. For music, <clears throat> um, you can automatically load what playlist will um, load. <clears throat> this one right here is mine. And you can even have it to where it's autoplay, meaning when you start your workout, it will automatically play this. Live tracking, that's also um, one of those paid services. The activity is walking, route, if you have a program route. 
Um, like I said, even with the gear, you can do like shoes and everything. I'll let you know, give or take, when you need to uh, replace those. <laughs> you can log a workout if it wasn't there. Log food. I don't log my food here because the next I want to talk about is where I log my food. Um, the activity log is kind of, you know, just general, you know, look on, you know, what you do, all your different workouts and whatnot. And let me see if there's anything else in particular that I want to point out. You can uh, load your friends and at the bottom of this video, I will have my information. You can click at me as a friend. You can actually challenge your friends, which is nice. Here you can uh, connect devices and apps. So the heart rate monitor, um, if I remember, I'll actually have it posted. It is uh, the uh, map my uh, I think map my walk um, heart rate monitor. And it's uh, linked up here and to my phone. So when I actually start working out, it um, <clears throat> will show my heart rate, which gives me a more accurate uh, assessment of my calories in addition to uh, my max heart rate and average heart rate. And I'll leave a link to if you guys want to purchase that, where you guys can purchase that. <clears throat> I also have this link to the uh, MyFitnessPal, which uh, is the next um, thing I want to talk about. And it actually has everything all encompassed. And there's so many different uh, apps and devices that you can um, sync with this. And is that it? <clears throat> oh, and the last thing uh, with settings, there's so many things in here that you can adjust. And one thing is even the voice feedback. I tend to turn this off because I don't want to hear it, but uh, it will talk to you and if you want, and the intervals is here. So if, if it's um, every mile, It'll tell you these things here, total distance, time, pace, speed, all of that stuff. So if you want to hear that. So that right there is the uh, map my walk. Like I said, I do use this and um, I will leave a link for you guys. If you guys want to join me and whatnot, you know, and again, it's all, it's always best to, you know, work out with a friend so we can work out together. And the very last app <clears throat> is the uh, my fitness pal. And like I said, this is a great app. The only thing is if you guys are not real um, used to just like tracking a lot of your stuff, you know, it can become a little uh, monotonous in addition to that, especially when you're preparing food at home, you know, it takes a bit of time, but I'll get into all that. So like I said, you had, and just follow me here. Cause you know, like I said, I can't really show you with my fingers, but you have the goal um, it subtracts, uh, how much food it will add exercise and tell you what's remaining. So let me see. I'm, I just clicked on more, um, going to my goals. Um, you can see my current weight, what, uh, my weight goal is more or less 200 pounds, uh, more or less 190. And pretty much this is, um, my makeup and this is what I've actually programmed for myself is uh 2280 calories carbohydrates i try not to even get close to that fats i try not to but i try my best to get as close to the protein as i possibly can without going over the uh, 2280 now if you want you can um i'm gonna go back right quick as you can see there's zero for the exercise and it says right here how much how many calories that i pretty much burned um from my walk right so with that what i can easily do and i'll show you guys going back to the more button and let me see i believe it's goals no it's not that one i'm sorry nope it's not goals it's actually going to be my profile nope not my profile oh my gosh this is embarrassing this is embarrassing how did i do this again and I just did this the other day, and now I'm sitting here trying to, help, you know, explain this to you guys, and I cannot find it. This is embarrassing. Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is. It was right there at the bottom. <laughs> Exercise calories. I have it turned off, but if you turn it on, what it will do is it will add your calories in, which means that if it adds that in, that means you could eat more. I turn those off because, again, I'm trying to lose weight, so I don't even want to factor that in. And if and just to let you guys know, three thousand five hundred calories equals a pound. 
And the fact that I've pretty much uh, walked 7.75 miles the last three days, I've well burned over a pound. I haven't weighed myself today. So let me go back and take that off before I forget. All right. And even then, <clears throat> you can track when, you know, the times you work out, when you work out. You can adjust these, uh, the macros yourself. Let's see what else is here. Um, in terms of diary, this right here is all that I had today. As you can see for breakfast, uh, it says Conco Great Picture Packs. I talk about Crystal Light a lot. And I haven't finished off the whole pitcher, but I do drink a gallon of water a day. So in that gallon of water, that uh, whole pitcher pack is 40 calories. You know, so drinking my calories in a good way. I've also uh, had some oats for breakfast, oats for lunch, and I do the intermittent fasting. So I don't, you know, eat when, uh, you know, for standard breakfast, I'm still fasting, but this is what I've had so far. And I still have a whole lot to go for dinner because I'm about to chow down. And one thing that I like in particular, and I'm going to scan this, I'm not going to eat it, but I'm going to scan it. And I'm going to show you guys this. Is that um you can scan your foods let me go to that so I hit the plus sign food I could select when it is so I'll just say it's a snack and all that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the uh, barcode at the very top and then I'm going to scan this item so watch this And just like that, so if it's something that has a barcode, you can scan it, it will have everything there. <clears throat> and if it doesn't, you can actually take a picture and put it yourself and it will always be there. You can adjust the serving sizes. Well, you can adjust how much, how many servings you had. It will calculate all of that. I'm not gonna add that, but just wanted to show you guys. And it's so much that you can do here, so much. And I use this to, you know, track everything, even with my progress. And you guys can see here, I did say to you guys, I decided at 275. When I actually started back using this app, I was at 270. But this right here shows you pretty much where I'm at, where I've been. You can sit here and put pictures, post your progress, all of that. And there's so much with this. Now, when I was talking about the steps, if you guys <clears throat> are not ready to actually just start doing all the cardio and the fitness and whatnot, it will actually convert your steps. And as you can see, if you go look up at the top where it says calories remaining and go right below the orange bar, it says steps. And the average goal for me is like 5,000 steps and I've completely. Oh, no, oh, they bumped it up to 10,000 now. Well, I've <laughs> definitely surpassed that, but it will factor those in. So just want to give you guys the real quick, um, you know, review of, uh, and these apps, like I said, I love them. I use them. The only one that I don't use is Pacer, but that's because I wanted to find an app that matched the uh, health app on the um, iPhone. So hopefully you guys uh, download these apps if you guys are ready for it. As you can see, there's other apps that I use. <laughs> um, uh, like I said, I will still leave uh, my link for the map my walk. You guys can, like I said, we all can walk together. Hopefully you guys download these um, apps and, you know, and it helps you guys with your uh, fitness goals. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know you guys didn't get a chance to see me, but it's all good. It's all fine. So I will see you guys later. Thank you all. And uh, yeah, BU365, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys on the next video.